listen with your heart, you will understand. Let it break upon you like a wave. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you for watching. So today I'm going to be doing, obviously, another Halloween tutorial. And it was requested by one of my dolls here on YouTube. And it's to recreate a Pocahontas look for Halloween. So we're going to get from this to this. So this is how my Pocahontas um, tutorial came out. I hope you guys liked it. So if you want to see how I created the Pocahontas look, please keep watching and I'll show you how to attempt this look. Okay, we're gonna push back the hair. Okay, I already applied my um, moisturizer, my clean and clear hydrating gel. That's already applied on my face. I'm just gonna take a foundation that I haven't like used in a while but it's Dream Nude uh, Maybelline Dream Nude Air Foam and it gives nice flawless finish because you want to become a Disney princess so you want your skin to look flawless so I picked up my Air Foam you think I'm an ignorant savage and you've been so many places I guess it must be so but still I cannot see if the savage one is me how can there be so much that you don't know? You Next, I'm going to be taking my Mirabella face and eye primer. I'm just going to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow. You don't know. Okay, Pocahontas is... Pocahontas eyes are very nude and natural and not very dramatic on the eyes. So I'm going to take this palette you get at the drugstore. It's the Co CoverGirl um, Quad and the color, the palette is called Country Wood. With a flat sheeted brush, I'm going to take this cream color right here. I'm going to put this all over my lid and my brow bone. The earth is just a dead thing you can claim, but I know Okay, next with a crease brush. Okay, now I'm going to take this color right here. I'm going to put this in my crease. Every rock and tree and creature has a life, has a spirit, has a name. You think the only... Okay, next with this color right here. So I used, I used that color. So this color now, I'm going to put this also in my crease to blend it out. Okay, now with the darker color right here, this darker matte brown color, I'm just going to put it in the corner of my eye to smoke it out a little. You walk the footsteps of a stranger, you learn things you never knew. And we're going to blend all these colors together so there are no harsh lines. Knew you never knew. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Next with a cream or a gel liner, we're going to take a black gel liner. And we're just going to line our top lash line. She does not have a wing liner, so we're just going to drag it across to make a nice straight liner. Okay, we're just going to line our waterline with a, just a regular black liner. Next, we're going to pile on mascara. So, I'm going to fast forward now. Come run the hidden pine trails of the forest. Come taste the sun sweet. Okay, next, I'm going to be taking my Adrian Rhine Erase Dark Circle, and this is the Illuminator Concealer. So, I'm going to illuminate under my eye. Next, I'm taking my 10 color palette from a BH Cosmetic with my angled brush from Sedona Lace. I'm going to take this dark bronzy color and I'm going to bronze and contour heavily all over my face because Pocahontas is very tan. She's Indian, 
Native American, so she is going to be dark skin. So we're going to make our face look, if you have dark skin, plus, if you don't, just heavily contour and bronze all over wherever the sun will hit. We're just going to take this Mika Beauty Cosmetic and it's a shimmer powder and the color is in Earth. I'm just going to dab it on my cheekbone to give it a nice highlight effect. Okay, so this is the fun part. Pocahontas, of course, the, the color of the wind song is playing during the movie or part of the movie. So why not put in some color in this look? So I'm going to take my color tattoos along with my color theory palette and it has all different colors. I'm just going to take a f angled brush and I'm just going to do a type of multicolor liner on my along my lower lash line, not in the eye but along the lower lash line like if you would just smoke out your bottom lash line a little. So with an angled brush I'm just going to do a multicolor type of eye look on the bottom. So here we go. So I'm just going to start with my Maybelline color tattoo and this color is in painted purple. So I'm going to start that in the inner corner. Next another color tattoo and this color is in blue on by. It's a nice electric blue color. The color theory palette. We may take this um, green color right here. And then take a yellow. Lavender color. And we're going to put that in our inner tear duct. You think I'm an ignorant savage. And you've been so many places. I guess it must be so. And last but not least, Pocahontas has a nude lip, so I'm going to take this Jordana lip liner in Tawny and this Laura Gala lipstick, and the color is in Strawberry Toffee, and it's a marbleized lipstick. It's gorgeous. I love this lipstick. last but not least we're gonna curl our lashes to give it that oomph look you think you own whatever land you land on the earth is just a dead thing okay guys so this is the finished look this is my Pocahontas inspired makeup tutorial so just add on, I know this doesn't look like an Indian type of headband, but I really did have a headband for Pocahontas, um, so it kind of looks Greek goddess, Grecian, whatever, but this will probably do. I'm very upset that I couldn't find a headband that I have that mostly is like Pocahontas inspired, but I hope this is okay. So you get the idea, you can wear your hair pin pin straight, which, um, Normally my hair is always like curly. So, um, wear your hair pin pin straight, wear a nice headband, maybe add like a little feather on the side, and add some bracelets. I had these bracelets. I got these like two years ago, and I got them at Kohl's, and then I just added, um, this actually was from a museum of, I think, Native Americans, and my friend, my, my boyfriend's mom actually bought me this bracelet, and I was like, oh, this is so cool to wear it in this video. So you got that, you got the headband, add a little feather on the side, and you're good to go. So guys, this is the end. Hope you guys liked it. I hope whoever requested this makeup look, I hope you liked the how it turned out. 
And remember, always like up this video. Please leave me a comment. And remember, if you're watching my videos for the first time, please subscribe to become one of my members in my doll army. And until my next video, I'll see you guys then. Bye, dolls. I hear the wind. Yes. What is it telling you? I don't understand. Que, que, not you will understand.